Hey Game Makers, this is Game Maker Rob and in this tutorial you'll be able to learn how to make the camera follow the player um, and it's as easy as three lines of code. So let's get into it. Okay, so before we start coding we need to set up the views. If you go into your room, um, in the bottom left you should see uh, room settings and the width of my room is 640, the height is 480. So a decent size for an RPG. Um, what we need are viewports and cameras. So click on this and you want to enable viewports and click on the first viewport and make it visible. Uh, you should now see a white rectangle. Um, it should At the moment it should f cover the entire screen. Um, I usually have my viewport set at half of the room width and half of the room size. So that's going to make it 320 and 240. And the next one down, viewport properties. This is how big the game screen is going to be. Um, if, if you had it at 320 and 240, it's going to be really small. Um, but if you double it in size, if you double the, the width and height of the viewport, then uh, the sprites and everything is going to be doubled in size as well. Um, it just looks a lot better in my opinion. But um, you might want to play around with these, uh, with the height and, and the width just to get your desired effect. Uh, one last thing to talk about is going to be object following. Usually when everyone starts, um, they always click on this, uh, choose their player object, um, change the horizontal and vertical border. Um, and go from there. It does work. That's why it's in the, you know, in Game Maker. But it can be very jittery. Um, and this is why I learned how to code it myself. Okay, so in the end event, end step event, sorry, we're gonna say move the view, create a new region. Okay, so inside here we're going to say half view width equals camera get view width view camera zero and then divide this by two and half view height equals camera get view height view camera zero and again divide this by two so the reason we need these two um, numbers is because uh, the views draw themselves from the very top left much like a room starts at zero zero um, and if you want to center the player or center the view on the player we're going to be using the players x and y and all we do is we're going to take away half the view height and half the view width from the players x and y and that will um, tell the view where to draw and that's what's going to center the view on the player so to enable this it's just one li one line of code it's going to be camera set view pause and view camera zero and we want plays x minus half view width and plays y minus half view height and that's it if we run the game uh, everything should work and you can go ahead and use it in your own games there we go the camera is now following the player perfectly No problems. Awesome. So thank you for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye for now.